Connor. Everything seems to be in order for the big day. It is. Except uh, I can't find Miriam. Uh, I am certain she's making sure all is perfect. I will find her, my friend. Why do you run? Leave me be! I'm no housewife. Nobody thinks you are one. You may kiss your bride. Hello, Connor. Enjoying yourself? I am. It is nice to see everyone together and happy. Look at those two kids. It's a lovely sight. Norris is one of my best friends, and he couldn't have found a better woman. Proud of him. Sometimes people are just right for one another. Norris and Miriam are a match made in heaven. Or a match made by Connor. Isn't that right? I only helped Norris muster his courage. The rest came naturally. And my little brother, Joseph, tossed him in the river! <laughs> Connor, we were just recalling our weddings. Spirited events, I take it. <laughs> Spirited? <laughs> More like brawls than unions they were. <laughs> calling Joe Little is like calling me Big Terry. Boy's a bloody mountain. My younger brother had a blow-up with one of Terry's cousins. A minor disagreement about some lass's dance card. I'll just say Terry's cousins sobered up right quick when it was over. Poor boy. Sitting there sopping wet on a stump while Joseph spun around with the object of his affection. <laughs> it was good for him. 
Not in good things don't come easy. Come on. Excuse me, everyone. Thank you. I won't keep you long. I would like to present something to Connor and you all. I once said I'd find a way to show my gratitude for your courageous actions in my defense. And this is what I give you today. This flag is a symbol of our strength and unity. And I would hope you'd all be proud to fly it high above your homes and shops. I'll happily make one for each and every one of you, if you so desire. But this one is for you, Connor. Thank you. Connor, might I have a word? What do you think of our little plot of land, Doctor? It's quite beautiful. I'm grateful you found me. But to be truthful, people outside our community still avoid me like the bloody plague. You baffled me for a time, but then a courier delivered this to me. Before you found me, the British had demanded I not treat patriots, nor their supporters. I refused, so they set about destroying my business. This tells me their smear campaign is still very much in effect. If things don't change, I may be forced to leave. We need you here. I will do what I can to end this defamation. You might start by finding the courier who brought this to me. He works out of Boston.
I am here on behalf of Dr. White. It is time the campaign against him came to an end. Who is selling the papers that slander him? Well, you won't find argument from me. Doc Lyle healed my leg good as new. The pamphlets are being distributed by a few paper boys around Boston. Where's the man printing these pamphlets? Look, mister, there's a man who pays me to hand these papers out. So long as he's doling the coin, I'll be doing what he asks. Contract the services of Tom Harlan. Thank <laughs> you. 
How did I Yeah, that's going to be the scary Jesus, I'm ready to go. 